Hello everyone. Welcome to the CRM Essentials course. In the last lesson, we learned about orders. In this lesson, we will be learning about products. Let's take a look at products. We use F2-2 to represent the identifier of this feature set, product. Products are the specific goods or services that a company offers for sale to its customers. Similar to the products on an e-commerce platform, the products in a CRM system also include details such as product descriptions, pricing, availability, and any associated specifications or attributes. Some CRM systems directly call data from e-commerce systems. We can select the required fields for interface design in the CRM system. You can see that orders include the following main features, add product, search product, view product details, edit product, and archive product. Just like with other modules, we do not directly delete products because products are associated with orders, opportunities, and other modules. Directly deleting them could lead to system errors or data loss. Instead, we use the archive product feature as a replacement. How are products associated with opportunities and orders? As you can see in the process flow diagram, products can be added to the price quote of an opportunity and can also be added to an order. When an opportunity is converted into an order, the products from the price quote are also added to the order. Next, let's create the data structure. First, let's correct the sheet number. The order number is F2-1. Duplicate the order sheet and change the page name and title to F2-2 products. In the basic info section, we need the following fields, product name, category, owner, unit, price, images, and remarks. In the status info section, we need product status, which includes the listed and unlisted states. In the relevant module section, we only need the operation log and attachments. You can think about why other modules are not needed for the products module. Next, we will create the prototype based on the created data structure. Duplicate the opportunity folder and its branches. Rename it to products. Then, modify the names of the other pages. In the search section, we need a category. Let's add a few categories, books, clothes, and fashion. We also need a listing status, including listed and unlisted. Change the search options to product name and product number. In the table section, modify the titles, button text, and tab text. In the table, we need a product name, a product number, a category, a listing status, a unit, a price, a created by, an updated time, a created time, and remarks. Then, in the operation section, we add list and unlist buttons. In the new product page, change the page name. Change the label name to product name. Then, duplicate a category and a listing status.
We also need a unit, including options like please select, price, pack, bottle, box. Then, add a listing status and price. Add a feature to upload images for product images. Add remarks. Copy and paste the page content to the edit product page. Enter the book title, the design of everyday things. In the product details page, change the page name to the book title, the design of everyday things. Then, we need a price, a category, a listing status, an owner, a created time, and an updated time. In the tab section, we only need the product details, attachments, and operation log tabs. Change the subtitle to product info. We need a product number, a unit, and remarks. In the product image section, drag in three image widgets to represent product images. In the source info section, we need a created by, a created time, and an updated time. Since we have created time and updated time here, we will delete the top element. Now, let's set up the interactions. Select the product name. Change the text to the title of a book. Set the target for opening the link to product details. Copy and paste the button several times. Select the edit button. Set the link to open to edit product. Copy and paste the interaction to the other buttons. Then, go to the edit product page. Modify the interaction for the submit button. On the product details page, modify the interaction for the operations panel. Here, we will change the option to unlist. Then, add an unlist panel and an unlisted successfully notice. On the frame page, select the product's navigation. Set it to open the product management page in an inline frame. Preview the prototype. Open the product management page. You can select search options. Go to the new product page. You can add a new product and then automatically return to the previous page. Go to the edit product page. You can edit the product. Click on the product name to view details. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and share with others. Thank you.